The newest Elegy resin printers have just released at a very affordable price, the Saturn IV and Saturn IV Ultra. Elegy sent me the Ultra to take a look at and there's a lot of changes to go over, so let's jump right into it. Right off the bat here, I want to talk about the overall aesthetic of this machine. It has a grey and black color scheme and sleek futuristic angles that evoke some sort of sci-fi spaceship. The lid swivels up and out of the way easily with one hand. This is an awesome change from the separate UV shields we've seen in the past that you have to remove with two hands and find a place on your workbench to store during print removal. They've ditched the knob on the build plate in favor of a quick release lever that makes removing it really easy with one hand. It has a satisfying amount of tactile feedback so you won't be questioning whether your build plate is fully secure after starting a print. On the back of the machine is an exhaust port, so you can vent any resin fumes out of your workspace. In the build chamber behind the resin vat is a small camera module. This camera has the ability to detect print fails as well as capture some time lapses of your prints. More on that later. The screen in the machine has a resolution of 11,520 on the X and 5,120 on the Y, with a build area of about 219 millimeters by 123 millimeters on the X and Y, and 220 millimeters on the Z. All the ports are located on the right hand side of the machine. There's an antenna port, a USB port, a power switch, and a DC in barrel jack. On the front of the machine is a sleek touch screen. You can print either off a USB thumb drive or connect via Wi-Fi and send prints directly through your network. Okay, here's the biggest change on this machine and one that I'm super excited for. The resin vat now has a tilt function. After each layer is solidified, a small motor tilts the entire resin vat, releasing the print from the film at the bottom. This is not a new technique, but it was previously reserved for commercial machines that were much more expensive. The tilt vat is beneficial for a few reasons. First, it takes less force to peel the layer away from the vat film as opposed to a direct upwards pull. This increases the print success rate and ensures your fine details remain intact. Second, it means that the Z-axis motor only has to move a small amount each layer. The resin vat tilts and the Z-axis simultaneously moves up by your desired layer height. No more lengthy Z-axis retracts. This saves time and means you can hit up to 150 mm per hour print speeds using standard resin and normal print settings. As I mentioned, this machine has a large capacitive touchscreen, and the UI here is well thought out and displays a bunch of useful information. One addition I really like to see here is the chamber temperature in the top left. In the menus, there's a few welcome additions, including a self-test. This ensures your machine is working properly and helps diagnose any problems. There's also a resin calibrate feature that lets you adjust resin exposure time for four quadrants of your build plate. This means you can set up four test prints and try a variety of exposure times on the same build plate to speed up the process of fine tuning your settings for different resins. This machine also has some smart print detection features too. It'll detect any foreign objects in the print vat, it can detect if your print has been released from your build plate during the printing process. It can detect low resin as well as do auto bed leveling. I'm not exactly sure how they're doing all this, but I think it works the same way as sensorless homing on a traditional FDM printer, monitoring the spikes and current the Z-axis stepper draws when it encounters resistance from an object. Okay, back to this little camera. This is such a great addition to a resin printer. The auto time lapse feature is super cool and during testing I managed to capture a few awesome clips. For the AI print detection, it's a little limited as it can only see the model from one angle and only the part of the model that's emerged from the resin vat. 
One suggestion here for Elegoo would be to add a feature that pulls the model all the way out of the vat to check it thoroughly every 30 minutes or so. But for the purpose of manual print monitoring and time lapse, it works perfect. Okay, let's do a couple test prints. Up first, I scaled this airless basketball model down to fit the build plate. This is a great example of the complexity you can achieve on a resin printer. This printed great and of course, bounces surprisingly well. Next, I printed this Moon City model. This is a really tough model to print on an FDM printer and on this machine it printed flawlessly without any support. Check out that detail. Finally, I wanted to really challenge this printer with this fractal pyramid design. And I finally managed to have a print fail. It happened right at the end, so it was submerged in resin where the AI camera couldn't see it, but still some really promising detail here. That's all for today. Let me know if you think the changes Elegoo made here are worth upgrading from your current printer. Visit the link in the description if you'd like to learn more about this machine. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.